Here's one of our old favorites. I love to get our old hot rods back again, and this one came back from a previous owner that we sold it to. He did a couple of upgrades to it, too. It's a 1941 Chevrolet business coupe. Lots of custom mods. It's got molded in fenders. That's an all steel car. It's got a 350, 355 horse crate motor. It's got a 4 9 inch rear end. Turbo 350 transmission with a shift kit. The narrow 9 inch is real cool. It's got some nice meats on there. Brand new Mickey Thompsons. These are more of the Sportsman Street tires. Rides really nice with those. It's got remote solenoid doors, power windows, power steering, vintage air conditioning. If you want a classic hot rod, that's the way to get them with all those creature comforts so you can actually cruise it around. The wife will be comfortable with the AC on. Nice graphics. It's an older build but kept up really nice throughout the years. It's got four-wheel disc brakes, four-wheel power disc brakes, which is nice also. I'm going to show you underneath here. A nice aluminum tank. Everything's nicely detailed underneath. Interior, it's all gray tweed. Door here. Business coupe has no back seat. I guess you could fabricate something if you wanted a back seat. There's plenty of room back there. There's a panel that goes through to the trunk. If you have something long that you want to put in here, golf clubs or something like that. I think there's enough room in the trunk anyway. <clears throat> Got three seat belts. Like I mentioned, power windows. It's got VDO gauges, tachometer, all the necessary stuff, oil pressure, temperature, fuel gauge, there's your vintage AC controls, I did it tilt column, it's got a nice little stereo, little CD player, got a sub in the trunk, it's built in, of course the dice. Show you the trunk. It's got a little hidden lever underneath. Batteries in the back. It's got a remote cutoff switch. It's got a 75 shot of nitrous, really for show. I don't think either previous owners played with it because they're older guys. You just thought it looked cool and it's not enough to hurt the car. So it's kind of fun. Show off. Here's the sub fuel t cells underneath in the trunk here. Really clean. Here's the power plant in the 41 Chevy. It's got a nice big aluminum radiator in there. AC condenser. Vintage air conditioning. It's got a 650 Edelbrock carburetor on there. Polished intake. Offenhauser intake. Really good looking car. Still got exhaust manifolds, no header leaks, anything like that. Electronic ignition. Very nice. I said earlier it had power disc brakes, it does not. It has manual four wheel disc brakes. <clears throat> Go ahead and fire this one up for you. Okay. Pop in here. Here we go. Got a nice little rumble to it. Nice tunes. Just off the 15 freeway in Temecula. The whole car's got about 12,000 miles on it since the restoration. So it's been driven, which is good. Reliable, hop in it to go. 
runs on regular pump gas. I like to run 92 in it, or 91, but. It's got new Flowmaster exhaust with the polished tips coming out the back. Nice little growl to it. Cool car. Well, if you want to come out and see this one in person, come out and see uh, myself as Rich or Gary. We're California Cars, 389 East Thousand Oaks Boulevard, in the city of Thousand Oaks. Our phone number is 818-591-1313. Thanks for watching.